outside, y'all. It went from like wintertime to summertime here in Virginia in like a two day time period. So today we're going to talk about how we keep our animals cool here on the homestead when we hit one of these crazy weather shifts. right now but it is essential for us to keep the ones that we do have cool um, we've sold off a lot of our animals this year because I wanted to kind of simplify regroup kind of figure out what I want to do and where I want to do it and if we do buy a bigger property in the future I really just want to simplify right now and <clears throat> not have to worry about a lot of stuff so right now we only have rabbits just a few we have our little quail and then we also have our chickens. So, let me show you. So our rabbits are in big hutches like this. You can see old Blue there, he's having a good old time. And I just prefer to keep them in big hutches because it gives them more room, gives them more shade, more air to get in and out of the hutch. Nothing stagnant. He's not very high up off the ground, so it's easy for us to really clean him out. But, the nice thing is, he's right under a big old shade tree, as are our quail. <clears throat> our quail are in this hutch here. Again, they have wire. They do have a tarp over them in case they want somewhere to go, and then we'll throw branches and stuff in there. But again, they're under a bunch of shade trees. <clears throat> now, if we did not have the availability, availability of shade trees then we would make a shaded area with tarps. Um, or we could move the hutches every day, but that would seem kind of excessive. So in the mornings, my routine is basically uh, come outside and fill up water bowls. I don't necessarily give them feed first thing in the morning because I feel like um, if they eat more feed, processed food, it keeps them hotter during the day because their bodies are digesting it. So if I give them food in the morning, it's raw food. For my chickens, they forage all day long. That's a um, that's really more, for my chickens, it's more of a cost-effective way because when they forage all day long in my backyard that now has foraged up, um, saves me a lot of money on feed so they don't eat a lot in the, in the nighttime but I do give it to them it's around like 6 30 or 7 in the evening and they're eating and it does keep them warm in the evening but it's so much cooler in the evening so it's better for them um, <clears throat> for my rabbits I'll, I'll give and for every animal I give them water cold water first thing in the morning sometimes I have to do it again throughout the middle of the day and then again in the evening <clears throat> in the evening from 8.30 and up, they're on their own. Uh, so then in the mornings, um, I have a big chicken coop. I'll show you. Here's our big chicken coop. And so in the morning, I'll just open that door to let all the air and stuff in. Ideally, I'd like to have a screen door or something to put on it, but because we have a broody mom in there right now, I want her to get as much air as she can. So I'm just leaving the door open since they forage all day during the day. And then in the evening, I'll go back and shut the door and keep them all up so that they're not getting any predators or anything. For our rabbits, for them, um, their wire cages really lend, and the shade is really your two key things for rabbits. That airflow, constant airflow, and being in the shade for any animal is going to help them. Even my coop is in the shade. We built everything so that it would be on the outer line edge of our property so that everything would be in the shade in the summertime. So with your rabbits, you can actually add ceramic tiles in their hutches. Some of our rabbits like them, some don't. Some use them, some do not. But we just get the, you know, dollar ceramic tiles, the large ones that you can get at your local, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. And then it, it stays cool, ceramic stays cool, so they can lay on that ceramic whenever they get hot. And a lot of times they'll do that consistently um, in the really hot days. I don't ever necessarily suggest wetting down your animals unless it's a larger animal. Um, your best bet to keep animals cold is to have them in their natural environment and give them the proper tools. 
don't ever wet a rabbit down. If you wet a rabbit down, unless it's just giving him a bath, it's hard for him to regulate his body temperature. So it, it could actually do more harm to his health than good. While it might cool him down, his body heat can't regulate itself. Um, <clears throat> for our quail to help cool them down, we give them a dust bathing area and with lots and lots of dirt. And so that helps them cool down and take their dust bath and um, be more natural with you know, rather than just being in the cage all the time. Um, there are also some fun ways to keep your animals cool. So for like the rabbits, you can chop up carrot pieces or their favorite snack, and you can freeze it in um, large ice cube trays, and you can kind of stick them in there during the day on hot days, and they'll lick those. And that goes for any animal. You can do it with corn for chickens and stuff like that. Um, another really important thing for rabbits, if they get really hot, you can put frozen water bottles in with them. I'm going to be honest, I've never done it, and I have a friend who's done it, and every time she's done it, her rabbits have died of heat stroke. And I think it's because it's such a temperature change. So we're all about natural tools and natural temperature changes and natural everything here. And so as long as you have good shade, a good um, air space area where they can really get a lot of moving air, and give them you know, um, enough water and enough ice treats that they can have. And ice treats are kind of optional, they're not even necessary. But shade and airflow is really important during these hot days and all of our animals, we've never lost, knock on wood, we've never lost an animal due to heat. Even babies, we've never lost babies due to heat. So those are my tips for here. Quick, sweet, simple, short. And um, if you have any fun, cool ways to keep your animals cool, by all means share them. If you have any questions, please ask them. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do. You can join us on Facebook and Instagram. We're more active there um, and definitely active more on Instagram too. I hope you guys have a great week, weekend, whatever day it is you're watching this and happy homesteading.